Um, want to give another shout out to Saf, just because he's a great guy. He's uh, looking for subs like I am. I mean, his channel's better off than mine, but he's a good guy. His videos are fun to watch. So if anybody comes across this, they like my channel, go ahead and go check out his too. Along with, uh, I'm gonna pull in here and uh, bring up a couple other guys' names. Um, another one though is Megadeth Dan. Real nice guy. I mean, just like incredibly nice. I pitched the rear end of this thing around. Yeah, but Megadeth Dan, he's awesome guy. Um, real nice. He's been looking for some subs on his videos too, so any chance I can get, help him out because he's been helping me. I'm going to. I'm so bad at remembering names, so that's the only reason I have to look it up. You know, we got Tank Snake, Spartan Moto, Saf, Danny Ree, Alizare. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name, but whatever. Um, uh oh, I just got a message from Sky Power. <laughs> Four days ago I got the message or whatever. But yeah, no, real nice guys. I'll put links to all their uh, channels down in the video description. If anybody wants to go check them out. They're just too nice of people. They sent me uh, to a couple other channels to help with subscribers and whatnot. Decided I'd help him out too. Dan and Saf, so far I talked to them the most. They're really nice, um, real helpful. Oh man, look at all those tools. They got enough tools. But um, yeah, they're really helpful. If I could return the favor however possible, I'm going to. Um, just because, you know, I'm trying to start this channel too. I'm trying to help it take off, kickstart it a little bit. And I can't do that just sitting around not advertising my channel any. So you have to advertise as much as possible. Uh, sorry Barb, we won't be coming to you for quite a long time. Bye bye go check them out, um, subscribe to them, like their videos, uh, if you're feeling generous, turn around, do the same for me, there's another guy, I think it was AZ Ninja, who uh, I was talking to, was it him, oh man, I'm so bad at remembering names, but um, he lives here in Arizona, and uh, I brought up maybe we could do a dual vlog someday. That'd be fun. So I don't know. You guys uh, might want to keep your eyes open for that. I will have a video coming out here soon though. I'm trying to work it out. Uh, video I'm planning on making here soon about my truck. A uh, little story behind my truck. It's my first truck. It's my baby. We've done a lot of work to it. But uh, there's a guy who one day I was driving to school and I see this Harley come up beside me and he's sitting there revving up. He's just being funny, cool guy. And he asks me, hey, get off the freeway up here. I want to talk to you about your truck. And normally you wouldn't do that, but I don't know. That day I was feeling kind of generous and whatever happens, happens uh, kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, he's sitting there. We pull over at a hospital, <laughs> just in case. Uh, not really, it just it happened to be there. I was getting off, I was on my way to school. That's where I had to get off the freeway anyways. But I'm talking to him, and come to find out, he also has a 1953 Ford F100. Difference between mine and his, he's restoring his where I'm making mine into a dragster. And uh, be 
before the move's finished and we take the truck out there, I don't know if we're going to tow it or drive it. It'd be fun to drive it. But he wants to meet up and uh, do a little photo shoot between the trucks. I mean, mine's kind of ugly right now. It's been through a wreck. I got a cracked fender. The hood's going through uh, repaint just because it had 50 pounds of Bondo sitting on it. But um, yeah, we're fixing all that up. Just because it needs to be done. I mean, I guess we'll just park them so the good sides of the truck come through. <laughs> Clean it up a little bit. But yeah, I might have a video coming out for that. I mean, his was a V8 stock and mine was a straight six stock with uh, three on the tree. The guys we bought it from, I don't know if it was them or the people before them, converted it to uh, a <laughs> stupid floor shifter, destroyed the, the doghouse for the transmission, and then we went through, bought a new engine for it, a new straight six, rebuilt, but it had a Ford automatic uh, three-speed in it, which is actually a two-speed. It starts off in second, switches into third, and you have first gear for towing. But had that in it, put it back to three on the tree. It was an automatic, of course. I don't know why I keep saying three on a tree. It was automatic, sorry. But no, 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 I take that back. I think it was a three on a tree when we first got it, and then we switched it to automatic. I can't remember. No, no, it was. It was a manual when we first got it. But, uh, yeah, so we did that, fixed it up, just because we can. And it has a lot of work that still needs to be done to it. We're kind of modernizing it, where, well, as well as keeping it uh, kind of badass. I'll put a little snippet in at the end of this video if I remember. And uh, if any of you guys look at my Instagram, I posted a photo of just the exhaust note so that's something you guys want to check out head over to it it's instagram the moto hippie all lowercase but yeah if anybody wants to go check that out uh feel free i welcome new followers subscribers and whatever it may be to my channel